after creating several murals across the state, many murals resumed on Oahu. This youth development, arts education, cultural preservation, and community building project teamed up with two Honolulu faith-based schools, Cathedral Catholic Academy and the Pacific Buddhist Academy. I thought it was important to bring these two different groups of kids together because they have different ways of being taught. You know, one's Catholic school, one's a Buddhist school. You know, they each learn and practice their religions and for Hawaiians it's very much about like have your own personal relationship with all of this. You know, and it's right here. We're gonna go down into the grass, right where those trees are, there's a stream down there. The hōkai part of the Mele Murals process is important because we need the kids to get their inspiration and I, we believe that they get that by connecting to the land. So I want them to reconnect and just sit and be present and just take it in and start to appreciate it in a way that we're starting to forget. What do you see in your mind? What kind of colors? Listen to the water. Do you hear something? Toss it to the person. You gotta say their name as you toss it, okay? We're mixing two different schools together in a very short amount of time. They don't even know each other's names. They know nothing about each other. One school is sixth to eighth grade. The other one's high school. Different interests, you know? It's a work in progress. All right, let's pass out some paper and pencils. I thought the process was great because it made the students feel like they were involved in it from the ground floor. You know, they got a chance to visit a site, they got to meditate there, and after that they were given pieces of paper and pencil. And so everyone got a chance to put down what they saw on paper. Does everybody remember what you guys drew? Those initial sketches were combined and finalized onto the wall at Cathedral Catholic Academy where over the next week, students of all ages participated in bringing the mural to life. Hello. I think this is a type of uh, artwork that the kids enjoy. They enjoy looking at it, they enjoy doing it, as opposed to sitting in a classroom all the time and doing stuff inside the classroom. My favorite part was getting um, using the spray paint because it's just like, yeah. Fun. My favorite part was climbing up on the scaffolding and painting way up high. That was pretty fun, yeah. You can see the, the nervousness wear off and they start to make friends, so that was nice. From the artistic standpoint, they learn a lot about scale. What it looks like up close and how it looks like when you walk 20 feet away, it's a different thing. That was an important thing for them to learn. It's extraordinary to think that that rendering comes from children, from meditation, from prayer. It's such a, a moment of realization that it's so much bigger than us. It's going to be so beautiful and I think it's going to be a beautiful addition to this community. We thank you for the gifts of the people who celebrate this beauty, especially in this mural that we see here today. On the Makai facing wall right here is our rainbow wall. The rainbow represents bridges between schools, artists, faiths, and our community. The tree over there is the tree of life. In its branches, you can see our connections to heaven and earth and all of humanity. The reason the tree sits in an Omeke bowl is because in one of the visions during a prayer circle, some people got a vision of a circle of students, teachers, artists, and supporters holding hands, becoming an Omeke bowl filled with light. On this wall we have right here, we have two goddesses. One of the goddesses is Poliahu, the goddess of snow. The other goddess shown is Kiao Mele Mele, the goddess of the golden clouds of Nu'uanu. 
The theme for this mural is about mihi, forgiveness, and in this case, we have Kiao Mele Mele, the, the Akua of Nu'uanu, with uh, Poliahu, and, and they're mending an old grudge. Incorporating stories was important because I think kids get a chance to learn about the Hawaiian culture. It's not something that's taught in every class. This work is truly from above, and whether you are a Buddhist or a Catholic or a Christian or agnostic, whatever you are, you're here to celebrate that we put down our walls and we came together to put something else on our walls that is representative of peace, unity, and love. Every time they pass by this property, it'll perpetuate for the years that it's up and um, I know that that's part of the goal with the Nani Mural project. It doesn't end, it continues. Every day that that mural is up there, it's going to move and it's going to inspire and it's going to motivate.